Hi, I'm Jacob Baumgartner. I'm here today to talk about why hockey is the greatest sport slash hobby in the world. Um, it is so fun. I love playing it personally. I've played it since I've been five years since I was five years old. So it has a lot of meaning in my heart and my family. Um, as you can see, I'm a Boston Bruins fan, so a lot of the stories today I'm going to talk about or allude to going back to that. One of the things that makes hockey the greatest sport happens to be that it actually is the toughest, in my opinion. Um, it is mentally and physically tough. Uh, one of the crazy things that a lot, not a lot of people think about is that hockey skates, um, the average time that the blade is on the ice it's only uh, 13 millimeters on the ice, and that is such a small amount. So you're skating around on these metal blades that most of the time aren't even on the ice. They're in the air, or they're just hovering above it, and, you know, it's some crazy difficult to do that even just walking on ice, 90% of the time, a lot of people fall. So skating on ice is also very difficult. It also has the toughest players in the world. Um... In the NBA, you see all the time guys flopping and pretending to be hurt, but they really aren't. So, there's countless times that people have played through injuries. Um, one of the times, Greg Campbell of the Boston Bruins in 2013, playoffs. Pittsburgh Penguins versus the Boston Bruins. A little sauce for you Penguins fans who are watching this. But Greg Campbell took a slap shot from Kenny Malkin to the leg, broke his leg, and then Greg Campbell continued to play for the next 60 seconds. Of those 60 seconds, it was a penalty kill. So Greg Campbell stayed on the ice and continued to play with a broken leg. I don't know about you, or if I had a broken leg, I would be on the ice screaming and crying. I know you would be too. It takes a certain mental toughness to be able to do that. And being a hockey player in the NHL, it's something you just grow up with and have. Another one is uh, from that same season, actually, is... Patish Bergeron, he played the final series, the Stanley Cup Finals, which we sadly lost. Um, he played with a punctured lung and broken ribs. So he played four games with that. And in, basically, it's impossible to breathe with a broken rib. And then he had a punctured lug, lung on top of that. So it was almost impossible for him, anyone to like just walk around and do anything. And he played four hockey games with it. So it's some only hockey players are known to do. You don't really hear football players or basketball players, soccer players playing through injuries. Hawk players are the only ones you hear play through injuries. And the last reason why you should play hockey and why it's the best sport is you get to play all year long. In the winter, you're in, inside or you're out there on the pond. You know, on the frozen pond, you're out there playing. Or during the summer, spring, fall, you're outside, you're running around, you're making friends, you're down at the local park playing deck hockey, floor hockey, street hockey was always big in my area. So you're out there, you're meeting new people, and it's some so fun that it's universal. Um, and when you get to meet new people, it's always good. You can network, and especially when you're adult, network, play beer leagues and stuff like that, and make new friends. And uh, that's why hockey is the best sport. It's the toughest to play. It has the toughest people. And you get to play year-round, inside and out. Thank you.